Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for December 22. This month was actually a bit difficult to pick 10 tools. I guess it was because of Black Friday, not many people wanted to launch new interesting tools during this time, but still I found a handful of interesting ones. This one is a list of paid systems and tools, in the last video I already covered the best free new assets, and in the next one I'll be covering top assets and effects. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MAGI10 to get 10% off your order. Also, here's some excellent news. The two best bundles that I've ever seen that happened a couple of months ago, they are back for the holidays. There is an excellent tools bundle with all kinds of systems and tools. So you've got an engine for making a top-down shooter, a tool for setting up some light probes, you can set up some weather effects, set up some 2D lights, a better UI, and some really awesome fluid animations. So lots of excellent tools on this one. And then here is the excellent art bundle with tons of visuals and some interesting shaders. This one has quite a lot of variety, quite a lot of things. For example, here you have Quibbly. This is an excellent cartoony shader. Then a really nice empty pack, a whole bunch of music, tons and tons of sound effects. You've got some more shader effects, so to pixelize them, which looks really interesting. You've got some fantasy nature, a realistic template, a bunch of cute animals, tons more animations, a bunch of effects, and a bunch more. So if you've missed these two bundles when they first happened a few months ago, then I highly, highly recommend you give them a look. With the insane 98% off discount, the entire bundle is worth it just for a single tool or asset. And of course, the Synthi sale is also still happening, so if you feel like their pack included in that bundle, you can check out the sale to see everything they do. Alright, so starting off with a nice first-person prototype game engine, you just hit play and you already have a really nice character controller with all kinds of unique abilities, so things like a hookshot, wall run, slide, projectiles, and a bunch more. Basically, if you'd like to build a game similar to Danny's Carlson, then this is a great way of quickly getting started. It includes many scripts with lots of parameters you can tweak, so if you have some kind of first-person parkour game idea, then this can help you quickly prototype it. Next up, if you'd like to do character customization, here's a tool to do that. This one is specifically built with the Synthi S in mind, chances are you already own a bunch of those packs. Apparently, you can just import the supported Synthi packs and it automatically loads them. Then you can easily customize tons of things on the characters to get near endless variation. You can save the new prefab and easily use it just like you would use any other character. So this one looks like a pretty nice tool if you already have tons of synthy packs and you like to create some custom characters. Next up, here's a look script. Basically, it has some IK to help you make your character look where you want it to. It works on top of your regular animations, so you can aim, shoot and reload. It's also not just about weapons, so it also works with hands for some kind of melee focus game. It's got a simple setup, so if all you want is to make your character, then picking up this simple tool can be quite helpful. Then here's an interesting one. It's a tool for baking ambient occlusion directly into your vertex data. This tool can be useful for low-end devices where running ambient occlusion in real time would be too costly. You just run this once, you bake the AO directly into the mesh, and you just use it at runtime. Since the effect is stored on the vertex data, it will depend on how many vertices your mesh has. For low poly meshes, this dev has another tool that does the same thing, but bakes the resolution onto a texture instead. Next up, here's a fun, interesting one. It's a QR slash barcode scanner and generator, so you can easily generate some valid codes with whatever data you want. Then you can use the camera to easily scan them and get the data back. So this could be fun if you have some sort of game idea that you want to exist both in the real world and in the virtual world. So maybe a game where you can scan some physical objects to get some kind of bonus in the digital game, so could be fun. Then here we have a 3D pathfinding tool. One thing that is always tricky is handling 3D pathfinding for some flying enemies. Making pathfinding just in the floors is pretty easy, but in the air it's a bit more complex. For example, the built-in Unity Nav Mesh does not support that, you can only generate multiple levels all on the floor. Whereas with this, you can easily define an entire 3D area as walkable, or rather flyable, and it automatically generates all of the valid positions, then you can just feed it a target point and it calculates the path to get there in the entire 3D space. So if you're having trouble with some flying enemies and pathfinding, then maybe a tool like this one can be helpful. Next up, if you want to add some more life to your shooting, look at this tool. It helps you add dynamic recoil to your weapons. Making it dynamic can help make it feel a bit more natural than just repeating the same animation over and over again. It makes the weapon shake on shoot and keeps the hands in the same position. So this one is another simple tool you can use to add a little bit of extra polish to your game. 
Then for something a bit more niche, here's the tool to convert from CSV onto a scriptable object. This one does exactly what you expect. You give it a CSV with whatever data you want and it automatically reads that data onto a scriptable object. Pretty simple and does exactly what you want. Next for something a bit more interesting, here is a noise generated tool. You can play around with tons of parameters to generate some noise. There's some like 20 noise types to choose from. You can even stack multiple modules on top of one another to get some really interesting results. And then when you have the final result that you're happy with, you can easily generate the final texture, either in grayscale or in full color. Then you can use that texture in whatever way you want. For example, it could be a terrain height map, could be a wind map, could be some dissolved noise and so on. One example of this is the video where I cover the transition effect in Hades. That one is a simple shader just using a nice interesting texture, so this is the kind of thing you could use for that. And then here we have a tool for helping you manage multiple surface types. You can play different sounds, handle impacts on a per surface basis, and a bunch more. This one looks pretty simple to add, you just add a component, choose the surface type, and that's it. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity S Store for December 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.